Tennessee is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Alabama's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Caught with room to work. He's taken down at the 36-yard line. Man, that is a great call and a big game, especially on an early down. From their own 36-yard line, first down. Dog four. We got four. Blue. Run, run, run. I got him. I got him. Makes it out to about the 46. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. Makes it out to about the 40. First and 10. Ball on the 40. Black five. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. Fires quickly to the tight end. Tackle made around the 37-yard line. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down line. He gets it up, and it's long enough. And he got it! Alabama to kick. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. They pick up a good six yards there. It's a nice pickup here, although I'm sure they'd love to get their receivers into a little bit more open space downfield. He scrambled. Second and eight. Dog four. Motion. Green eight. Motion, motion, motion. Go. Scrambling around. And they make the stop at about the 45. The quarterback didn't see anybody open downfield, so he took it himself and picked up some decent yardage. He's going to come up short. Good tackle. Pretty good defense there on the option. They'll stop him for a loss of one. That'll bring up fourth and one. He gets it away. And this is a really nice punt. So this one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. 
We're set to get restarted as the offense looks to build on the success of their field goal on the last drive. Alabama holds a field goal lead. Out of bounds at the 22. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a gain of five on the play. Third down. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. Gain of nine on the play. That makes it first We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 36. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And they push him out at the 48. Gain of 12 on the play. First down. They've got tight left, tight left. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike 45, check Mike 45. Hit. And two. Orange three. He's scrambling. He's tackled at the 38. Gain of 14 on the play. First down. From the 38 yard line, it's first down. Green nine, green nine. We got to get green the ball. nine. Slings it. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. It's great to put the ball in his hands and let him go to work. Big, big gain right there. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Four down, four down. Hey, Alabama Mike, is up a field goal. Red two, X seven. And down he goes at about the seven yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. And he throws it away. The ball's on the six-yard line, and we've got third and goal. He steps out at the five. It's up, and it splits the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Now he's got room to run. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. They'll bring him down at the 48-yard line. Not a lot of offense in quarter number one, but nonetheless, we've got a close game. The Crimson Tide in front, 6-0. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. Green nine, green nine, X seven. And he hits him hard at the 47. Taken down around the 35 yard line. Check three, check three, check three. Nice 
Patriots run there as they work the outside. Up the middle for a nice game. Good run by the halfback. That'll be good enough to move the chains. He got by a couple of defenders and made it to the sticks for the first down. Around the 13 yard line. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Black five. Tackled after decent pickup. That's a gain of four on the way. That'll make it second and seven. It's second and seven. Nine yards to the goal line. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. The defensive end came through to put him away. Nice job of utilizing his athletic ability to get in there and then make a sure tackle. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Mike check, 33, 33. Dog four. And they got him. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Kicks away, and it sails through the uprights. Tennessee lines up for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Alabama has a three-point lead. He's out of bounds at the 30. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 30-yard line. They'll make the sack. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick to an open man, he dropped it. That's going to bring up fourth down. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended. Now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's at midfield. And he is drilled at the 43. to see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. So it's second and 14. Ball on the 47-yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. Brought down at the 45-yard line. Five wide. Gets it. He's in space. He's taken down at the 36. 
Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Tackled for a loss, and they'll turn it over on downs. Defense stiffens on fourth down, and the ball will change hands. This time, the offense isn't successful on fourth down. The defense had that option play snuffed out from the get-go. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Alabama is up by three. Get up! Yellow nine! Shut down! Motion, motion! Complete. He's got room. Tackle made right around the 48-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Black five! Black out. Gets it out quick, and it's going the other way. Well, he was facing a big pass rush. The ball had no chance of being caught by one of his teammates. That's what pressure will do for any defense. From their own 38-yard line. First down. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five wide set. He comes in with his dime packing. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's knocked out of bounds at the 34-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball in 34. They come out in a five-wide set. Here we go, here we go, here we go. He goes out of bounds at the 31. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll make it 77. Incomplete. Number 20 was the intended receiver on the play. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. Takes it, and he's tackled short. The D line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up front, and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield. Tennessee is looking to tie things up. It has the distance, and he just drilled it from long range. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both defenses really played well so far, Herbie. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. It's second and 10. Ball on their own 25. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Red two. Steps out of bounds. Right around the 38-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That'll make it second to seven. Second down and seven. Ball on their own 38. Hey, check by 45. Check by 45. Red two. Green nine. Green nine. 
Throws out and through his hands. Number two, the intended receiver play. Fires to the wide out, first down. Kill, kill. And two. That makes it first and ten. Red two. Blue four. Blue go. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Check, check. That'll make it second and one. And he's tackled at the 45. Kill, kill, kill. Yellow three. He gets rid of this one. We've played a half. This one's all even at six. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. We've been looking forward to this game all week, and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half, and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this great. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us, and more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreit and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. It's going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says finish, finish, whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. they got to execute better down closer to their opponent's territory. Gets it out to the tight end, and he can't hang on. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 25. Green, no. go. Zips it to the back. And they make the stop right around the 36-yard line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Quick pass. That'll bring up third and two. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. To his receiver. He's tackled right around the 42 yard line. Number six on the tackle at the 42 yard line. That makes it second and six. Check, check. Two, answer, answer, four. Answer, He's got it with room to run. And down he goes around the 31 yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Caught with room to work. They'll bring him down at the 21. He 
gets out to about the 11 yard line. Pitches in and he's got a lane. Touchdown, Vols. Very impressive run by the halfback to find the end zone. Good play call here by the offensive coordinator. He realizes when you get down into the red zone and you have a halfback like this, just give it the ball and let him find his way into the end zone. And he hits the PAT. A 10-play, 76-yard drive, and they put up seven points. So our score, 13-6. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Tennessee's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. The handback picks up a yard. From their own 26 yard line. Second down. And off up the middle, and he's stuffed. From their own 37-yard line, it's first down. Red two, green nine, green nine. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That brings him second and five. It's the tailback. He fights forward to about the 43. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. He really did a nice job of anticipating the run and making the play on the ball carrier. So we're looking at another third down here. He's scrambling. And he's taken down at the 46-yard line. That's a deal of the play. First down. Double tight, guys, double tight. Four down, four down. 45 to the mic. Go! And he throws it away. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. They run left and he'll lose yardage. It's the ninth play of the drive. Tackle at the 27. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 27. Two down, two down. Hey, check by 45. Check by 45. Pick up. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's good to have been in five yards. That brings him second and five. Here's the 11th play of the drive. to the 
tight end again completes. Run down at the 15. That's, That's good, good for a gain, gain of seven, seven yards. yards. That makes it first From the 15 yard line, first down. Hey, check Mike 45. Check Mike 45. Red, kill, kill. Panther two. Motion, motion, motion. Go! Almost intercepted there. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. And this is the 13th play of this drive. Red two, X, seven. He gets sacked on the play. And here's the 14th play of the drive. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Fires out to his receiver. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. This is a quarterback who trusts his receivers, and he knows they can make plays. It's like those two were playing catch out there. Here they go, first and goal, down by a touchdown. So at the end of the third quarter, Tennessee leads it 13-6. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. And this is the 16th play of the drive. Check, 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 check. Five, five. Three, nine. Easy, easy. End zone, touchdown. Will be tied with the extra point. And he converts the extra point. A long 16-play, 75-yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Early in the fourth quarter, who's going to make a play? Which team's going to come out on top? We're in a tie game, and we're about to find out. And he tackles him hard at the 26. Game one yard. Quick, 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 quick. That brings us second and nine. Hey. Check nine, check nine. Throws it in a hurry. He's taken down at the 37 yard line. He's on the run. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. Tackle made around the 32-yard line. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. him down for a loss. Well, give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the nine. Here I come again. Here I come again. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. That was a well-drawn up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. He's 
splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Blue 14! And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game six on the play. That'll make it second down. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Four down, four down. Take four, take four. Dogs, four. And he's going to be sacked. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. He's tackled at the 40. From their own 40-yard line. First down. Four down, four down. That brings him second and five. Less than three minutes in the game. Here's the tight end, has a first down. From the 44-yard line, it's first down. Dog four, blue four, blue four. Now he tries to buy some time. And now he's going to run. And they make the stop at about the 31. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. First down. Three down, three down. Here we go. Watch seven. Black five, black five. Hey, check my five. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a deep five on the play. That brings him second. Here's the eighth play of the series. Quick throw, pass complete there for about five yards and a first down. And that's just great execution on that short pass play. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap and he threw it right out there. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 21. Fires it out. And he hits him hard at the 12-yard line. This is the 10th play of this drive. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And he's level at the four. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. So here we go, first and goal, and a field goal won't cut. Just over a minute left. Touchdown, Alabama!
Penalty They'll line up for the extra the point in an attempt to tie the game. Penalty markers down. Penalty. They took too much time. Offense. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. And he hits the PAT. It was an 11-play, 75-yard drive, and the result, seven points. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. Late here in the fourth quarter now in a tie football game, and it looks like, barring another score, we might be headed to overtime. He airs it out. He's picked it off. This time it's the safety. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 23. Four down, four down. 45 the mic. Yeah, oh, easy, easy. Come on, come on, let's roll, let's roll. Go. Fires quickly to the tight end. He goes out of bounds around the 26-yard line. They completed it, but for a minimal gain. It's not much, but at least it's positive yards. Yeah. You don't want none. Hey, check my Offense check lines my up in a five-wide set in a defense, in. anticipating pass here. He's to the 40. Gets it out quickly. They'll bring him down around the 41-yard line. Easy. Flair. Great flare. First down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Complete. He's got room. And he's taken down around the 50-yard line. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. the middle and down he goes at the 39 that was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down and this field goal is for the game a miss will mean overtime it has the distance we're going to OT so it looks like four quarters wasn't enough we're heading to overtime Back to the action here, and we get ready for overtime. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Tackle at the 18 yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He is drilled at the 18. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. Woo! I think everybody in the stadium that felt that hit. He really laid some lumber there. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Green 15. Oh. And that sets them up with a first and goal. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. Fires out to his wideout. Drop down at the three. three-yard line. It's second down. Go. 
And the end zone touchdown. Well, this is what it's all about in college football. I score, now we'll see if you can respond. Great teams always find a way to come through. He makes the PAT. From the 25-yard line, first down. And they get the sack. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman. When the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on one day. Zips it to the back, and they push him out around the 20-yard line. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. That'll make it 35. From the 20-yard line, third down. Dumps it complete, the tight end over the middle. He's taken down at the two-yard line. Number 27 on the tackle at the two-yard line. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Hey, check Mike 45, check Mike 45. Red King Touchdown, Crimson Tide. Will be tied with the extra point. And he converts the extra point. We've got a dandy here, folks. We're heading to overtime number two. First and ten. Ball on the 25. First and goal. I got him. Hey, check Mike 45. Check Mike 45. Go! Tackle made just outside the goal line. That brings him second and goal. Second down and goal. About a yard to Pater. Touchdown tie. So the offense steps up and gets a big six points here in double overtime. And that gives them some breathing room for the time being. But I'll tell you, the way this game is being played, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw this offense on the field again in a third overtime. And he adds the extra point. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five Help. wide receivers. Hey. Hey. Got it, and brought down immediately. He fights forward to about the 19. So it's 
third down now, and they're going to need about four. Set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Both teams are dead tired. But one is going to outlast the other. This is looking like a classic in the making. From the 25-yard line, it's first down. Black five. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Mike check, 33. 33. And they make the stop around the 11 yard line. Up the middle for a nice game. Second and five. Six yards to the end zone. Here we go, here we go, here we go. go. Now he's scrambling. And he's tackled right around the four yard line. The kicker will line up and try to get the first points in this overtime. Kicks up, and they tack on three points. hit and taken down. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. From the 13-yard line, first down. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. He takes it in for the win. What a finish. What a finish to this football game. Neither team showed any quit the entire game. And how about the effort to come up with a winning touchdown after such an amazing battle throughout the ball game? I've got to say, this has been just one outstanding football game. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. You just can't underestimate a team when they're your rival, when today's game proved that. And nothing stings more than losing to the one team you want to beat in overtime. Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. This is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.